The key to the distinctive look and feel of the Discover Your Wine flight is all in how you set the table before the guests arrive. One of the distinct advantages of the Discover Your Wine style flight is the beautifully branded materials that come along with it. Of these, the most important document is the tasting mat. The tasting mat is color-coded so that as we move from one wine to the next, the colors shift and help us keep track of which category we're tasting at each time. The tasting mats that are available for download are blank, but you do have the ability to go in and type in the names of the wines ahead of time so that the individual guest doesn't have to write them down themselves. These are color-coded to match the different categories of wine style, but if necessary, this could be printed in grayscale. In addition to this document, there are a few other things that you'll need to provide for your guests when you do discover your wine style. These should be presented in some way, for example, in the mini booklet that gives it a lovely Boisset collection vibe. The booklet inside has two pockets that allow you to present as many or as few materials as you plan to present for your host and for your guests. On this side, we have the Boisset brochure if it's available, and certainly if you have the Boisset business card, by all means, include it. But the key elements that are required for this tasting are the flight menu that lists the names of the wines, the current wine list that has the prices for all of the wines, not simply the ones that you're tasting, and of course the order form for the guest to complete at the end of the tasting. And if you want to get orders from each guest, it's best to make sure that you provide a pen for them to use as they taste as well. In addition to the material at each individual place setting, we do of course want to provide foods like a cheese board or a sampling of cured meats. Talk to your host in advance to decide what is the best way to present that material. We don't want people reaching across each other or interrupting the tasting by passing a platter around the table. So, if food is to be presented at the table, it's best for it to be individually portioned on sampler plates for each place setting. Otherwise, if it's to be served family style, set it on a table adjacent to the tasting area and allow guests to have a moment to go up, serve themselves, gather a plate, and bring it back to their chair so that they have what they need within reach once the tasting begins. So once you have the table set, once you have your materials, once the foods are in place, you're pretty much ready to go.